Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we made our way to Future City, and now we are going to start up the Safari Zone. What is the Safari Zone? Well, you're about to find out. Now, first off, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a cold. It's been a couple weeks since I recorded. Um, I, there's, I actually f remembered I have one part that I haven't uploaded yet. The first thing you're going to want to do before you go into the Safari Zone is go to your PC and switch to an empty box. I usually change to, like, uh, let's just uh, make a uh, box, let's make box 12 or Safari Zone box. So I'm just going to go all the way down to box 12. There we go. The reason is because you can catch a ton of Pokemon in the Safari Zone, but you're liable to, like, you're liable to run into where you'll, you'll fill up your box before you can finish. So basically, um, you want to go up here. And there is a way around this, but I like to do this way because it's faster. So we'll just get uh, Shark to cut. And we'll get him to cut here as well. And here we go, the Safari Zone. Let's go talk to this guy. Welcome to the Safari Zone. For just 500 um, Poke Dollars, uh, you could catch all the Pokemon you want in the park. Would you like to enjoy the hut? Sure. That'll be 500, please. We only use a special Pokeball here. Receive Safari Balls. Now, there's tons of strategies. Um, basically, how this place works is you get a time limit. And, um... The evolution music plays to this whole thing. And you catch different Pokemon in different areas. So I'll just go quickly right here, because there are some items and stuff I want to get. So there's a Wild Parasect. Um, I don't really want one of those, so I'm not going to go ahead and capture one. You should only really capture the Pokemon you want to get in here. I don't really want a Nidoran, so no thank you. There's tons of items to be gotten here, too. But I'm not going to get any of those items. Um, for, oh, shoot, that was an accident. The first time through. I'm, gonna, I'm going for one particular item. And I'm only going for one particular Pokemon, so... If I run into it, cool. If not... Um... I'm not too worried about it. This place is tough to navigate at first, but uh, but yeah, it's a great place if you want to catch some Pokemon easy. Now, there's some options there, bait and rock. Basically what bait does is it makes the Pokemon stop and eat your bait, but it makes them makes your Pokeballs miss more often. Um, throwing a rock will make the Pokemon enraged and make it easier to capture, but it'll be more likely to run away from you. Yes, the Pokemon can run away from you in here. So that's why you gotta be careful and not uh, and not uh, only use them when you need to. I personally don't tend to use throwing rocks or the bait that often. Kangaskhan, I want one of those. The rare sons of bitches. Oh, uh, see, po some Pokemon will run away as soon as you start throwing Pokeballs at them, or balls, or Safari balls, as they say. Is this the? Yes, found the gold teeth. That's what I wanted. And there's something else in here I want to grab. So reach the secret house. I want HM3. That's what HM3 and the gold teeth is what I wanted. I'll come back for the other items when I get a chance. How much time do I have? I have 64 steps left. That's how they measure time in this event. How many steps you take. So if you're low on steps, you can always just go right here and use one of your rods. But I don't have any other rods other than the old rod. It looks like I'm not going to catch what I want in this playthrough. But uh, I'll show you guys the... I'll show you guys the, um, uh, I'll play this a couple times for this part, just to give you guys, uh, just to weed myself into starting up again. I'm just gonna catch whatever now. Level 36 Nidoran, why not? Alright, see, time's over, and now, um, I'm gonna go back in, and I'm gonna only go to the first area. Because the Pokemon I want, I think, appears the most in the first area, so... So, let's go ahead to here. Don't want you. Don't want you. Yeah, sorry I don't have much to talk about. My... Oh, damn it, that was an accident. My, my throat has been hurting, and... Well, kind of. In the mornings it does, because I, I snore really bad, so... My throat tends to hurt a lot at night, 
But, um, uh, but yeah, um, so, I, and I got a cold after those two cons I went to. Probably because my sleeping habits weren't that great <laughs> during them, but, you know, they were fun. I have con videos going up soon on my account. Also, something I want to talk about, because I'm here, I've decided on what I'm going to do for streams. Um, I'm going to put an update video about it. Basically, what's going to happen is, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start, uh, putting my, uh, I'm going to start, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start doing them on Friday nights at about 11, and I'll probably go until 1 or 2 with my streams. So, that's basically what's going to happen. I don't want to waste all my balls on you. I don't want to waste all my balls on you. Some Pokemon just won't run away. They'll just stand there and let you throw balls at it the whole time. But I want to save my balls. Now I've only got about 20 left. I'm trying to find a... No! Fuck! Damn it. I keep doing that. It might be appear pretty well in the, the next area, too, actually. You know, I'm going to go check over there. How much... How much... Yeah, I got like 383 steps left. It's calculated by steps, not by time. In the... In the next game, with the bug catching contest, it's calculated by time. Ooh, a Scyther! Ooh, I want one of those. Oh, of course it would run. Here we go, this is what I wanted, a Chansey. If it keeps missing, if it gets in it, usually that means it's caught. Yep. There, I kind of Chansey. And this is the last Pokemon I want to add to my team, guys. Because he is... Chansey, or it's a she actually, is broken in first gen. Broken. It, the reason is because special, I think I mentioned this before, special attack and defense were with one stat in first gen because it's just known as special. And Chansey has high special defense. But in this game, that counts as special defense and attack. So if I teach her some really kick-ass special moves, she's going to kill everything. So... And I know exactly what I want to call this, and my buddy is going to be, he's going to be happy that I called him, that I named him this. That's right. The Trap Master himself, his name, is now in my party. So now I've caught what I want, I've got time to go start collecting items. So, I got a Carbos from that. Let's see. TM37. Okay. Stupid Nidorans don't want you. Hey, a Max Potion. I probably will run out of space, and then I'll just have to come back. Yeah. You know what, though? I have a Carbos. What is Carbos for? I forget. Carbos, I think, is speed? Um, who has low speed? Let me check my team. Tiz is only 62. Special is really low. Oh, his speed is... is is as weak as stat, but whatever. <laughs> Shelly speed is no problem right now. Dream Shogun speed is fantastic. Dragon X, his speed is fine. This is his best stat, and good old uh, Shattuck, which I'm going to be replacing after this. His speed is fine. So I think I'm going to give it to Blackout. Yeah, I knew it was speed. This is full restore. Okay. I don't need you, Nidoran. Alright. Ooh, a Tauros. I want one of those. Tauros is another one that's hard to catch. I'm just throwing balls because that strategy works for me. Holy shit, I caught a Tauros. That's friggin' awesome. Name Tauros. No, leave him as Tauros. Ford Tauros. <laughs> I should have called him Ford Tauros. That would have been funny. Ooh, Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan's a tough one, because he'll run right away. Ooh, a Rhyhorn. I do like Rhyhorn. Yeah, I got a Rhyhorn. I'm gonna give him a name. I'm gonna call him... Trihorn. I don't know why. I just want to, you know? <coughs> but, oh yeah, something else I want to say. I apologize, guys, for not getting videos up. Even with cons and stuff, I've only been able to post streaming videos. I haven't had any time. This is the first chance I've had to record in a while. 
Kangaskhan. Oh. Fucking Kangaskhan. If you run out of balls, too, that you'll, uh... Shit. Do I have anything I can use? Why don't I still have the Slith Scope out? I'll save that rare candy, because I want to use that on shit, uh, not shatter, yeah. Gold teeth. Nice. Okay, I can't really... I'm just going to catch some more Pokemon. I'll go get items in the next run through. I only have 40 steps left anyways. I wouldn't be able to get every item. <laughs> just before I was going to see what item that was. Alright, so I'm going to go back to my box now. So I might as well show you guys the other way to get back. Like, the long way. It's basically how you do it. And those things around, those cages, they're all Pokemon. It's like, a, uh, the city has like its own little Pokemon zoo that's in it. So anyways, let's go around here. And shit, I'm at the 11 minute mark. I could make this a short video, but it's been so long. Might as well give you guys a decent sized video. I don't know why I did that, because I, <laughs> I have to switch out of Pokemon anyways. Alright, well. What I'm going to have to do is deposit Shattuck. And withdraw his name. Okay. Wow, attack is nine. <laughs> I better not give it any physical attacks. Look at its special! 52! Look at that! And it knows all physical attacks right now. So, yeah, that's not gonna happen for long. Um, let's see. I'm gonna have to teach somebody cut now, though. That's the only problem. Well, I can, uh, I need to deposit items anyway, so, okay, I can deposit, um, TM37, TM32, I need to get the gold teeth back now, too, uh, I won't need, what's a slift scope, uh, slift scope, I don't need you anymore. Uh, I need to deposit some of my potion items. Actually, you know what? I need to hold on to some of them, so... I'm gonna go ahead and do the gold teeth thing, and actually go back to the safari zone in the next part, guys. Because, uh, this is gonna be... This is getting on 13 minutes, and I want to show the gold teeth thing. So, I think I can get to his house without cutting anything down. This is a good place to fill up your Pokedex if you want to see where Pokemon are. But, uh, I already know where everything is, so... Like, there's a chancy right there. Uh, can I get to his house from this way? Oh, no, his house is right here. What am I doing? Here we go. There's the warden. The warden popped in his teeth. Thanks, kid! No one can understand a word that I said! I couldn't work that way! Let me give you something for your trouble. There, I got HM4. Now I know strength. I know strength! And I can't get that yet because I'm gonna need to teach the thing. So you know what, I'm going to go ahead and teach um, Strength and Surf right now, and then I can take them out of my inventory. Well, I know who I'm teaching Surf to. Well, um, let's see. Uh, I don't need two physical attacks. Two water attacks sounds okay, so I'm going to take out Tackle and teach Surf. And now who am I going to teach Strength to? Uh, something I've been debating. Who do I teach Strength to? Teaching it to his name would be stupid. Something that has high physical attack. Actually, let me check the Pokemon. Who has high physical attack? <laughs> okay, Sand Slash is 84 physical attack. Um, Tenjutsu, that's his highest stat, is physical attack, so I should probably teach it to him. <sighs> um, sh uh, Shally's highest stat is speed, so I don't want to even bother with... Uh, and I like her attacks, so I'm not going to bother teaching it to her. Um, Alakazam, no, his best stat is speed as well, or special his is. Uh, so uh, there's no real point in teaching it to him. <coughs> I don't even think he can learn it, so. And his best is speed as well, and special is the second best. And you know what, he already knows fly, so he already knows an HM. So you know what, though? But I have to teach cut to him is what it's probably going to have to happen. So you know what, I'm going to teach strength to Canadian Jutsu. He'll have two HM attacks, but you know what? He's worth it. 
Okay, let's do this right. Okay, I want to get rid of Water Gun. I might as well. Um, I mean, I got Bite. But, no, uh, Water Gun. I might need a backup Water Attack. Mm, I, I don't want to get rid of Dragon Rage. I know that. Uh, looks like it's going to have to be Bite. So, I got rid of Bite and got Strength. And, you know what, I know how, who I'm gonna have to teach Cut to, but let me just check his moves again. Ooh. Poison Sting I'm not probably gonna keep. I'm probably gonna have to get rid of Scratch and Poison Sting for the other attacks I wanna give him. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. But you know what, guys, um, I think this is a good place to stop, so next time on Let's Play Pokemon Yellow... Um, well, let me turn off hyperspeed. Um, next time in Pokemon Yellow, we will uh, go back to Safari Zone, pick up those uh, items we needed, and we'll start souping up uh, souping up our Pokemon a little more. You know, get uh, get Isnane some strength. So, uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.